Hello, magical family. Welcome to the witching hour. As you can see, I am in full swing Halloween mode. What do you think of look one I have for you guys? Hopefully it's kind of inspiring for you. I feel like I pulled up pretty creepy this time. But before getting into it, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, and if you do, thank you. As you can see behind me, eight days until Halloween. I am kicking off my first look for you guys. And this is my interpretation of like creepy ghost slash dead girl, if you will. Let me know if you think I pulled it off. I did a look like this similar last year, but I feel like I kind of really polished it up this year and really pulled out the creep factor a little bit more. At least I'm hoping it translates the way it does in person because in person it's kind of creepy just saying the extra creep factor because it's trying to make it like you know flow or really go this is just like a button up i have is like this light bluish color and i'm actually wearing it in reverse if you can't tell and it just worked with the really flowy arms and it just pinned to my a regular shirt underneath and yeah, I think it really works. With that being said, this is going to be a really short video. I want to kick it off with saying the witching hour. I've really been changing the vibe of my channel and even my Instagram. And I mentioned it in my last video. I'll link it below if you haven't seen it. The direction I want to go with the witching hour. Halloween weekend though. So the 30th, October 30th. I am holding uh, actually my third witching hour event. I'm going to be doing events regularly, but this one is a bit different. It's definitely a nod to Halloween, um, to my life. If you've checked in on my videos before, you see that I share my paranormal experiences with you guys. Um, I am going to be doing a live paranormal investigation and yeah. It, it's a lot of work um i hope you would like to join i'm gonna put up my flyer while i talk about it so this is the witching hour uh if you have any questions for me or if you would like to join this seems up your alley it will be a minimum of an hour and it's actually going to be a two-part event if you're a part of this first event you will automatically be included free of charge into part two. So part one, we will be doing the actual investigation. Um, I want to make it interactive. So I will be having you guys uh, ask your own questions. I'll have some basic equipment um, and we'll go from there, but I want it as interactive as possible. And I want to have fun with it. Please also know uh, when it comes to these things, I take it very seriously. So we will be respectful the whole time. And I ask for everybody else to join in to be give that same kind of respect. If this seems like it's up your alley and you really didn't have any plans for Halloween, this might be your thing. If you want to take part or if you have any questions, click on my Instagram link down below or my email and message me on there. I hope to see you there like now is your chance if you've been like an avid paranormal like streamer junkie you watch like, ghost adventures you look for videos like that where like, people actually go into places well I want to take you with me as always with anything I mean it's gonna be real deal nothing made up nothing fake it's either something crazy is gonna happen and you're gonna be part of it or we have a thrill anyway and maybe we don't get anything at all you know, that's how these things go, but my experience with the location that I did pick or I have in mind, um, I feel like we're going to get something good again. And if this is just your vibe and in essence, uh, you have that witchy kind of pull, even if it's not just paranormal, I hope to see you there. And on that note, because I did all of this. Let's tell you one of my spooky experiences, one of my paranormal experiences. I 
everything I tell you on here is 100% true. It's something that's happened to me. And I'm going to go with a really quick one. I believe this happened last year where I'm currently living. So it's no secret where I'm currently living. Um, we've known to have activity. I've known to have activity. Um, it's something we've been able to push at bay. But when we first got here, it was really, really strong, really bad. I've been here now for three years, I want to say. So this experience, um, things were happening a lot. Like, you know, things were opening, cupboards were opening noises all the time, things disappearing. That's the kind of activity we were getting. Feeling uneasy, um, especially in this room that I record in. Um, very uneasy feeling in here, especially when we first moved in. Um, it, to the point where you just did not want to be in here and you just felt like something was always staring. This one day in particular, it was for something because my siblings were over, my parents were here, everybody was over and um, Everybody's going about the business. Maybe it was like 8, 9 o'clock, 8 p.m. And I have a younger brother and I was about to walk out. And next thing you know, I see my younger brother turn and look at me. But like it was so weird, you know, he just turned and looked at me. And he had this look on his face like... It kind of creeped me out a little bit, like his eyes just looked like he was up to something in a sense. He just turned and looked at me and then walked into the kitchen. So I'm like, okay, I was like, that was weird. So it's just a small hallway and then you turn left to go to the kitchen. And I remember being like, what? Like, what did you want? Why do you look at me like that? That's what I was going to say. Now, I turn into the kitchen and he's not there, mind you. By the time I opened the door and where he where he went, there was no way for him to pass or go in a different direction without me seeing it. Hallway, kitchen, dining room, and then if you keep walking straight, um, but you would have to cut and turn in front of me still to go into the living room. I did not see him move in front of me again. There's no way he could have moved without me seeing him. So I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm like, are you messing with me and what's going on? I walk and I'm hearing him talking now. I'm like, wait, like what is going on? I walk straight and then there he was in the living room on the couch with the rest of my family. And I just looked at him like, and just to be clear, I was like, did you want something from me? Were you just in the kitchen? And he's like, no, I've been here the entire time. So that's when I really knew that whatever is going on over here was a little bit more like it felt menacing in a sense so it just was really messing with me. I'm telling you it was clear as day. Um, I thought it was my brother and the only thing that was different and that's what threw me off is that he just had this like look on his face like this I would never forget it. So in a sense, it almost didn't feel like him, but I'm everything else is him, you know? And it bothered me so much that I had to tell him. Like, he's well aware of, like, the paranormal stuff, and I saw his face, and he was like, okay. And I was like, yeah, I need to figure out what's going on in here. I still need to smoke out this place, smudge the place, and this isn't good. After telling him, and I'm moving again, I'm, it's in the opposite direction. I'm walking back into this small room, and I see him again. And this time he walked into the other room next door. And my face was just like, you know, and I was got angry at this time, at this point, because I'm like, stop messing with me. I know you're not my brother. Um, I know whatever I'm seeing in front of me is not him. And I turn into the room, obviously nothing's in there. And that's what's driving me crazy. And I kind of just, I don't know what came over me. I. Kind of just got to the point of leave me alone i know you're not him i'm gonna get rid of you kind of deal and when it comes to these things you do have to be careful with the way you handle it but it just felt like the right thing to say and that was the last time that happened to me i did end up being able to take care of the house afterward and really got um it, it felt cleansed in a really good way uh to this day nothing like that has happened again 
but that unnerved me a bit because that was the first time something was that like I don't know the fact that it presented itself to me as a family member was definitely different and I knew yeah that that needed to end right away and luckily we were able to take care of that on that note like I said, really short video today. Uh, comment down below if you ever had a spooky experience or anything similar. Again, I know how far-fetched it is. I'm not here to make you believer. I'm just here to share my experience and hopefully make others share their experiences too. Which is part of why The Witching Hour was born. It is a community for anybody who's ever thought, am I going crazy? Is this real? Um, if you're interested in things like tarot, oracle, crystals, um, any kind of witchy things on top of paranormal, that is where the witching hour comes into play. I want to form a community and I hope to see you at my event next Saturday, guys. Tell a friend, jump on together. It's, it's going to be a good time. I hope you're doing well and until next time. Yeah.